The defense of the Great Wall was a campaign between the armies of Republic of China and Empire of Japan, which took place before the Second Sino-Japanese War officially commenced in 1937. It is known in Japanese as Operation Neka and in many English sources as the First Battle of Hopei. During this campaign, Japan successfully captured the Inner Mongolian province of Raya from the Chinese War of Jiang Zueliang, and incorporated it into the newly created state of Montukuo, whose southern frontier was thus extended to the Great Wall of China. Chapter 1 Battle of Shanghai Pass Shanghai Guan is the fortified eastern end of the Great Wall of China, where the Great Wall meets the ocean. For the terms of the 1901 Boxer Rebellion Accord, the Imperial Japanese Army maintained a small garrison of around 200 men at Shanghai Guan. On the night of 1 January 1933, the Japanese garrison commander staged an incident by exploding a few hand grenades and firing a few shots. The Kwantung Army used this as an excuse to demand that the Chinese 626th Regiment of the Northeastern Army, guarding Shanghai Guan, evacuate the past defenses. When the Chinese garrison refused, the Japanese 8th Division issued an ultimatum, and then attacked the pass with the support of four armored trains and ten tanks. The Japanese attack was supported by close air support from bombers, and by shelling by warships of the Imperial Japanese Navy's IJN 2nd Fleet with a dozen warships offshore. On January 3, Chinese regimental commander Shishian, unable to withstand this attack, was forced to evacuate from his positions after losing half of his force. Chapter 2 Battle of Rea. The province of Rea, on the northern side of the Great Wall, was the next target. Declaring the province to be historically a portion of Manchuria, the Japanese army initially hoped to secure it through the defection of General Tang Yulin to the Montukuo cause. When this failed, the military option was put into action. The Japanese army's chief of staff requested Emperor Hirohito's sanction for the strategic operation against Chinese forces in Rea. Hoping that it was the last of the army's operations in the area, and that it would bring an end to the Manchurian matter, the emperor approved, while stating explicitly that the army was not to go beyond the Great Wall. On February 23, 1933, the offensive was launched. On February 25, Chaoyang and Kalo were taken. On March 2, the Japanese 4th Cavalry Brigade encountered resistance from the forces of Sun Dianying, and after days of fighting, took Chifeng. On March 4, Japanese cavalry and the 1st Special Tank Company took Chengda the capital of Rea. Falling back from Rea, Wan Fulan's 32nd Corps retreated to Lenku Pass, while the 29th Corps of General Song Zuan also fell back, Jiang Zhuxiang's 37th Division retreated to Zifengu Pass, General Guan Linzeng's 25th Division to the Gubeku Pass. On March 4, the 139th Division of the KMT 32nd Corps managed to hold Lenku Pass, and on March 7, the KMT 67th Corps withstood attacks by the 16th Brigade of the Japanese 8th Division, at Gubeku Pass. On March 9, Chiang Kai-shek held discussions with Jiang Zueliang in Baoding about resisting the Japanese invasion. Chiang Kai-shek began to relocate his forces away from his campaign against the Jiangxi Soviet, which would include the forces of Huang Jai, Xu Tingyao, and Guan Linzeng. Chiang Kai-shek also called over Fu Zui's 7th Corps from Sui Wan. However, his actions were too late and the reinforcements were of insufficient strength to stop the Japanese advance. On March 11, Japanese troops pushed up to the Great Wall itself. On March 12, Jiang Zueliang resigned his post to He Ying Kan who, as the new leader of the Northeastern Army, was assigned the duty of securing defensive positions along the Great Wall. Over 20 close assaults were launched, with sword-armed Northwestern Army soldiers repelling them. However, on March 21, the Japanese took Yuanku Pass. The KMT 29th Corps evacuated from Zifenku Pass on April 8. On April 11, Japanese troops retook Lenku Pass after dozens of seesaw fights over the pass defenses and Chinese forces at Jenku abandoned that pass. 
The Chinese army was significantly underarmed in comparison to the Japanese and many units were equipped with predominantly with handguns, hand grenades, and traditional Chinese swords with limited supplies of trench mortars, heavy machine guns, light machine guns and rifles. Beaten back by overwhelming Japanese firepower, on May 20, the Chinese army retreated from their remaining positions on the Great Wall. Although the National Revolutionary Army suffered defeat in the end, several individual NRA units like the Hizugua platoon managed to hold off the better equipped Japanese army for up to three days before being overrun. Some NRA divisions also managed to win minor victories in passes like Zaifunku and Gabeku by using the ramparts to move soldiers from one sector to another in the Great Wall, just like the Ming Dynasty soldiers before them. Chapter 3 Aftermath on May 22, 1933, Chinese and Japanese representatives met at Tongu, Tianjin, to negotiate an end of the conflict. The resulting Tongu truce created a demilitarized zone extending 100 kilometers south of the Great Wall, which the Chinese army was prohibited from entering, thus greatly reducing the territorial security of China proper, whereas the Japanese were permitted to use reconnaissance aircraft or ground units to make sure that the Chinese complied. Furthermore, the Chinese government was forced to acknowledge the de facto independence of Montecuo and the loss of Rea. Chapter 4 Sources Go, Ru Gi. Jiangsu People's Publishing House. ISBN 7214030349. Young, Louise. Japan's Total Empire, Manchuria, and the Culture of Wartime Imperialism. University of California Press. ISBN 0520-21934-1. Chapter 4 Section 1, Topographic Maps. Chengte in K5011 SW Jahal Province, SE Kaha Province, NW Hebei Province. Linu in K5012 S Jahal Province Nebraska Hebei Province, Great Wall to Shanghai Kuan Upper Luan River Area. Changli NJ 54 Ni Hebei Luan River Area.